What is up guys, welcome back to another video. Right, so it's that time of the year where you need to get a few nice jackets and coats involved and I feel like a puffer jacket is a must for any guy's wardrobe. So I'm gonna take you through some of my favorites. We've got a bit of a puffer jacket try on haul for you from a few different brands ranging from 40 pounds all the way up to 265 pounds. So we've got all bases covered and I'm gonna tell you which one I think is the best value for money as well. So let's get straight into the video guys. If you do enjoy it, don't forget to drop it a like. It really helps the channel out and I'll link all the jackets in the description down below. Let's crack on. So for size reference, I'm six foot two, about 205 pounds at the minute, and all these jackets are in a size extra large, especially for the length in the sleeves. That's why I need the XL. Um, first off, the first jacket we're starting off with is this one from Bershka. I think I did actually get this last year in a video, or a very similar one anyway. This one is the cheapest one of the bunch, 42 pounds. I tell you what, it's a really, really nice jacket. I like some of the features in it, so it's got fleece inside the pockets which is a very nice feature a lot of jackets don't have it but it's a nice added touch it's got a zip pockets which you guys know absolutely love one thing i don't like about the jacket it's got like the you know the cuff around the bottom i'm not a huge fan of that i'd rather it finish flush but it's a really nice fit 42 quid if you're on a budget and you need something to keep you warm obviously it's not going to keep you warm as a proper down jacket not a bad jacket at all guys, 42 quid, really affordable. I feel like with Bershka, can't really go wrong. It's just a top high street brand, isn't it? Right, so next up we've got another puffer jacket from ASOS Design. And this one retails at 60 pounds, but I actually got it in sale for 45 quid. Not bad at all. In this really nice gray color. And I'll tell you straight away, the fit on this one feels a lot nicer than the Bershka one. It doesn't have the ruche like cuff at the bottom, Finishes nice and flush, and I feel like it's a nicer fit around my chest and my back as well. It's not as tight. It feels really nice, this one. If you've noticed as well, this one also has a hood, so it's a d detachable hood, which I feel like is a nice option to have. If you want to dress a bit smarter, say, you want to detach the hood, makes your outfit a little bit smarter. But if you want to put the hood on, if it's horrible outside, you're in for a dog walk or something like that, you obviously want the hood on, don't you? One thing this doesn't have is zip pockets, which is a little bit annoying, but again, feels decent quality for the price. You can't expect too much. It's only 45 pounds at the end of the day. The third puffer jacket we have got is from Weekday, and this one retails at 89 pounds. You can tell the increase a little bit in price, say like 30, 40 quid, definitely feel it on the material. Like the material feels a lot better quality. It's kind of like a bit of a rip stop fabric. Can you tell? It's got like a bit of a crisscross in the design and this one is recycled polyester 100% recycled which is obviously a nice touch isn't it it doesn't have zip pockets it has an inside pocket though which is a nice feature it's not zip but still got an inside pocket there doesn't have a hood this one just has the funnel neck the fit on this isn't bad at all but I should have got a size large in weekday I know the sizes are really big like they tend to be bigger than true to size so I should have got a large, large would have fit me better. It's just quite a, a wide baggy fit around here. They have got the elasticated toggles here, so you can make it tighter if you want. It's a really nice jacket, feels really comfortable. It's gonna keep you pretty warm. Nice color as well, isn't it? And it's kind of like a mid-range jacket, isn't it? Not too expensive, but not at the bottom, not too cheap. I can't believe how fast this year has gone, you know, like Black Friday is literally around the corner. And I tell you what guys, we're having the biggest Black Friday sale we've ever done. So it's starting on Tuesday the 22nd of November at 8 p.m. Make sure you get that in the diaries. I'll put a little link on the screen here. Sign up to the mailing list anyway on Sulfur Clothing to be notified. But we've got the biggest ever releases we've ever done as well. So we've got the V3 Aura Joggers, which I'm wearing here. Brand new material, even comfier than the previous one. Super stretchy, a really nice fabric the perfect joggers in black and charcoal and then we've got two new colors in the jeans light blue and black and we're restocking the mid blue and the charcoal and we've just brought out cargoes haven't we the past couple of weeks so we've got loads of stock on the website make sure you keep it in the diaries 22nd of november it's going to be the biggest launch we've ever done it's going to be the one the fourth jacket is a favorite of mine to be honest i've had this jacket for over a year now i picked it up last season 
and this one is from Arn. So this one is £120, a down puffer jacket. Size extra large, this is in the slate blue colour. Don't think they actually do this colour anymore, but they've still got the basic colours, like they've got black, stone, dark grey and khaki, I think they've got. But I'll tell you what guys, this jacket is just unreal. So, so nice. So it's got the zip pockets, which is obviously a big plus for me. It's got a zip inside pocket. And I feel like just the details, it's got a bit of a, a little pouch there as well. Also has the toggles on the bottom, all the materials and the washing instructions and stuff there. It's just such a good quality, £120. It's not too expensive, is it? If you can afford £120 for a coat, I feel like investing your money in a coat is definitely worth it because it's gonna last you for such a long time. So one thing I do suggest is investing in decent coats and jackets. Cause this is, I'm gonna wear, it's not gonna go out of fashion either. I'm gonna be wearing this for years to come. It's absolutely lovely. And the thing I like about it as well, it's not too puffy. Some of the puffer jackets I tried on here are really puffy. Make you look a bit like the Michelin man. This one's actually quite nice and slimming. I really like the separate hood and collars as well. I feel like that's a really nice touch because it just makes it look a lot smarter and it's easier to put the hood up as well if you need to. Such a good jacket, 120 quid. I'm just absolutely smash it, don't they? they proper smash it. They've got loads of new releases coming out soon, so I'll definitely be doing a haul on the new releases stuff in the upcoming weeks, definitely. Looks so nice. The next jacket we have got is from North Face. And I did actually order a large in North Face because sometimes North Face is quite big in size and I felt in the past anyway. But he sent me an extra large out, which is a little bit annoying, but we move anyway. So we're starting to get a little bit more expensive now. This one was 215 pounds. And I tell you what, it is a really nice jacket. It is really, really nice. You can tell this one is made from higher end materials. Like it's a lot more sturdy, if that's a way to describe it. But you can tell the quality is much higher than say the Bershka, the ASOS, the weekday. It's so, so nice, really nice. So again, this one does have the zip pockets. It's got a zip pocket on the inside as well, which is quite nice. So this one doesn't have a hood, it's just a funnel neck, Saikuru North Face jacket. I think that's what it's called. I really like it, North Face. If you're in the market for say like a Canada Goose, Montclair, Mo Moose Knuckles, all them higher, higher end brands, and I feel like North Face can actually compete with them in terms of quality. Um, so instead of having to spend seven, eight hundred pounds on a jack, even more upwards of a grand, it's, it's not a bad investment to go for North Face. Sometimes I do just feel like you see a lot of people in North Face jackets, so it kind of puts me off a little bit. I kind of, I don't be wearing what everybody else is wearing. That's, it's a really nice jacket, really high, high quality. Sometimes you want to be a bit different, don't you? Do you know what I mean? It does also have the toggles at the bottom, which is a big plus as well, because it does tend to flare out a little bit, but that's just because the coat is a little bit too big. But a really nice fit, good length on the sleeves for me. Is it pockets? We've saved the most expensive one till last. So this one is from Napa Piri. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Napa Piri. It's got the branding on the left sleeve and the left chest in this really nice brown colour. I feel like it's such a nice colour, you know? Something a little bit different. Obviously, not everyone is gonna like this because it's not gonna match with most outfits, but it's a really nice jacket, you know? This one was 265 pounds, and you can tell the extra quality. You can, you can just tell why it's premium, why it's a bit more expensive. So this one has a really nice feature. It's got the fleece pockets there. They're not zip, but then it's got also another big pocket there double pockets you guys know i'm into my pockets i feel like it's nice to have a decent amount of pockets it's also got the zip inside one there and then it tells you about the jacket so it's not made from down it's actually called the material is a thermo pure fiber which is supposed to keep you really warm obviously we'd have to go to the north pole and try on try them all out and see which one kept you the warmest but if I was having to guess, it'd probably be this one and the North Face one that are going to keep you the warmest. Spending a bit more money on higher quality, higher materials is going to keep you warmer. I do like this jacket, it's really, really nice. You know, I like the fit of it as well, it's got a detachable hood, nice high collar, keep you very warm this. 
they all seem to have the toggles there which I feel like is such a good feature to have it makes it a bit more tapered do you know what I mean this one the fit fit wise is just perfect for me extra large is absolutely bang on such a good length as well feels so comfortable so guys some really nice jackets in this video if you're in the market for a puffer jacket hopefully this video has helped you out like i said before all the jackets will be linked in the description so go and have a look down there if i was having to choose one from the six jackets here from the selection i think i'd have to go with the arm one that i've already got you know but just because i feel like it's such a good fit such good value for money as well like i've worn it outside so much and I feel really nice and toasty, really nice and warm. For the UK, it never gets too, too cold where you need a Canada Goose, a Moose Knuckles, a Montclair, does it really? So I feel like the 120 quid price tag on this is just perfect. Such a nice jacket, highly recommend it. The other ones I really like, I really like the North Face one to be honest. North Face, really good. I think you can check these out like designer outlets, you have loads of good deals on there. The Napa Piri one is really good as well, 265 quid. It's not too bad is it, if you've got a bit more money and you want to keep extra toasty, have a look at that one. The other ones aren't bad if you're on a budget, but like I said, go and check them out, it'll be linked in the description. But anyway guys, that's it for me today, I'll catch you on the next video, take care, see you later.